and I'm pardon y'all, so y'all gotta be quiet. Boy. Boy. All right, welcome back to a class their own podcast with Fuddy Delight. I'm Diddy Knows Bob. This uh, and this episode third, this episode twelve. We've been gone for a long time. Damn, we got twelve of these things. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But you know, Jeez. that NIBC shit just came back. That shit was, I don't know. Where you want to start? Because I got, I got everything made. We can start where you want to start with. Because uh, we got the uh, the boys all American I mean, team. It really me, we got it, um, top five most underrated it. players regardless of class. All right, I ain't gonna lie. I want to start Stop, with bro. I want to start with Luha. Yeah, that's perfect, bro. Luha. I was going through they uh like they team stats and shit. You niggas rank high in everything, bro. I didn't know they uh they was number one in three point defense. That's something that stood out to me. Just because it's like I don't know. It's just something that if you can guard the three the way niggas hoop these days, that shit over with. And then I feel like they got the best. You think they got the best backcourt? Hold on. This shit is tripping. <laughs> like I'm trying to this this shit is tripping. Like can you hear me? Yeah. All right, just making sure because like I don't know if I'm delayed or you delayed or what the hell is going on, but what was the last thing you said? I, ain't even I was saying it. I was saying Luha, they got the best three-point defense in the NIBC. And I was just like, they perimeter defense. Because I was watching the game oh, yeah. when they was playing. Uh, who they just played? Not Sunra, AZ. And he was just like, man, that nigga Victorious was going out. Yeah, the officer they played, yeah, Sunra. Because they... – uh, they was playing. They play uh, A Z. That's the game. I really sat down and really was like, "Let me see what's going on." And nigga Victorious Miller was going off in the first uh, half. And second half, that boy Edge Cone got him. That shit was over with. It's just that perimeter defense. Mm-hmm. That shit was. And then I and, and then the fact that I was looking like, damn, they perimeter defense cold a bitch. And I look at the stats. They number one in like uh basically perimeter defense. You stop motherfuckers from shooting threes. I think they they number yeah. two in rebounds. No, they like second in rebounds. It's like just everything you would want a team to be good at, they good at. You see, you see the little rankings at the bottom. Everything they, they, they want. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How you how you feel about Edge Cone? Like either right yeah, now right and his like potential. Yeah, like it, man. This be uh like I, I don't wanna kind of spoil my uh none of my underrated uh stuff, but he's on my list and my underrated mm. my underrated list. The way uh it is come bring to a team uh, to be able to he can be your your best for he can be your best defender. He can be like whatever you need Edge come to do, he can do it while playing and doing everything at a high level. Like it, it's nothing he can't do. Like you can, it's either like you can get either over him. Like even if some sometimes his his shoe not not on or it's not on, he's still effective for his team. And I feel like he they true leader. I feel like he they real leader. Like over there, I feel mm-hmm. like Edge come everything move through him. I feel like they really need him. He like the he like the mold over there. And I feel like without him. Like they they'll still be a good team, but they need Edge come to be be there in, in, in all aspects of the game for them to be able to to play the way they play. And they they bro, they, you remember when the year started? We we didn't know what to expect from Luha. We like they was the new team in the NIBC. We was like, man, they ain't got no. We ain't seen nobody. We ain't seen no stars. As soon as we seen the first game, first couple games, when it was like, oh damn, 
they got they yep. got people like it, it was like at first it was like damn i don't know what this pick i don't know if they just gonna be some fluke uh have a game and then they out of here bro from the first game we saw like oh wow they lit and then we noticed like as, as it going on like bro they they record i don't think that how I many in ibc games they lost I don't See, think they, uh, I got, they ain't lost too many. Uh, they are 10 and 2. See, 10 and 2. They ain't lost too many. I knew I went tripping. I'm like, bro, I don't remember them losing nah, too many yeah, NIBC man. games. 10 and 2 in NIBC play. That's crazy. And yeah, see, That's crazy. I, was, I, I was trying to think, and I was just like, because b- before I started making the little the little shit and I was going through like the the stats and going through the players and shit, I was like, Luha ranked number eight, and then I start going through their resume. I'm like, bro, they were beating everybody. I think the uh, who was the only teams that beat them? I think it was Montverde and who else? I can't remember. I think I know Montverde beat them. Yeah, I, but I can say everybody Montverde. I know it had to be like a team you wouldn't expect to beat them to beat them. I think it was one of those. Yeah. So I was like, dang, they only lost two games mm-hmm. in their first year in the NIBC. Mm-hmm. He said, we were doing all that talking about RMG, AZ Compass, Sunrise. Man, they been, they been all three of them teams. They fuck around, made Geico fool. Yep. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the latest. Nah, Geico, right, you Geico. Yeah, you're right. I don't know. I don't know the latest rankings, but it's just like shit. They like number two in the NIBC. I think the number two made it last year. Like the top two seeds for the NIBC, or yeah. it, it could have been the three made got go last year. So I know they fucking Let's around make that motherfucker. They, uh... Let me see if they got like uh, any. Because I I know uh, what's the name was the first team in there. Month Vera was the first team. Uh... To get in that motherfucker by default, after they won, they I, just because they you know was number one in in IBC and they passed. I think it, I forgot what game they had won that kind of solidified their spot. I forgot what game it was, but I don't. Man, see. them boys are eleven and one. Them niggas lost that one. They one game to AZ at the beginning of the season. That's the only game they lost. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. AZ. I know we ain't talking about AZ today, but I'm so sick of that shit. That's the worst. We, we, but we knew, we knew, we, you know, we caught on this shit before it got too bad. We was like, hey, AZ shit ain't looking. They often enough for them to be dominant. That defense can be good all day. But if you can't put up, at the end of the day, you got to put up points. You have to put up points. And the way they put up points, like, bro, the, the main scores they got not putting up points. The main yeah, guys know, is not not the scores. Like you got you had these people who was over there. We think it was gonna be putting up points. You, you got guys like fucking um Tata Washington, uh, Washington, fucking uh yeah, like you got Jamar Washington was they 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 they, they leader damn near because he had to do everything. And that was somebody he they that, that wasn't even his role for that team. He was they just Hell trying to use no. him as a role player. He becoming use him as the he started scoring and being the one who was winning games for them, him and Ross. Like I was mm-hmm. like, man, how, how he went from just supposed to be the role player on his team to being him and Ross becoming like the, the heroes. And that and that's crazy yeah. that AZ that's it's really embarrassing. The Luha Luha need they that's like true. they really need a lot of love because they came and shut stuff down pretty quick. <laughs> Cause, but buddy, bro, Luha spanked them, and then I'm looking at who on the court. I'm like, bro, they got Victorious, they got Ravon, they got Phillips, they got Pharaoh Compton, they got True Washington. I said, bro, they got too many niggas to even for this shit to be close like this, bro. They should be either one or two with Monver right there. The fact that AZ Compass is is playing how they playing with the talent they got. Mm-hmm. That shit is sad, bro. Because really, Luha only got like three players, three like three dudes that I really fuck with. They got Reed, Edge, Comb, and Raw. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, man, AZ Comp has just been so disappointing. And Luha has been, uh, what's the opposite of disappointing? What's that shit called? <laughs> what's the opposite of disappointing? <laughs> that's what Luha is. I don't know. Uh, Whatever the opposite of disappointing, that's what Luha is. Uh, I've never surprising, looked- I guess. Yeah, I, I guess you could say that. 
Yeah, I often say, what is the opposite of that shit? But yeah, you're right. Uh, we the, we that's why I was saying we went in this year looking at you know these teams, and we thought you know the main teams, Mumford and AZ, just because how they was playing in that little uh, uh little, little stuff. But hey, I showed up, and they've been showing that we. You know, we give credit where it's due over here. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't hey, do pies, yeah. you know. Well, you know, I still think AZ, just because where they ranked the month very, like, month very, you know, that we we kind of already knew what month very was going to be. They the only, out of all the teams, they the only team who did what they was supposed to do. Everybody else is kind of like a surprise, like, damn, Tucker disappeared. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with IMG, you know what I'm saying? They still had good games, but it's like a whole bunch of shit went on. <clears throat> That's a perfect segue into this NIBC update. You see how it just ain't none of this how I thought it was going. Oh my god! Oh my ain't none of this how this shit thought I was going. You and Bishop. Oh, and Okia yeah, actually fuck. got good players, but that one in eleven is terrible. The thing about Okia, that that's terrible. Is a lie, because like they they actually be competitive. They just get their ass whooped. They at the end of the yes, game. Yeah, they got. Like, that's, that's what I'm saying. They actually you know got a good team, bro. I don't. I don't know if that's coaching or what. <laughs> well, that one in eleven hey, is hideous. That's nasty. Legacy too. Which one got? Which one got that nigga coin car mm. on it? Legacy. Legacy, yeah. Nigga, coin <clears throat> car foot, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Coin car, the way they hype him up. Man, being caught. So, I was watching a podcast the other day. That nigga Bill Simmons, he, he said, Bro, who make the ESPN list? I was going through. Them. He said, Have none of these hardly dudes paying him. He just was going through. I was like, Damn, Paul Bill Cardi make them hard. Huh? Because he didn't even know who make it. He said, Man, I'll be going through these lists sometimes. He said, Bro, they be getting so much shit wrong. And I just was like, Damn. Because I just know me and you be really following this shit and know who make it and all that shit. But I think it was one mm. class. I forgot who they said was number one. It was like Scal Lab Labissier. La you remember that nigga uh, from uh, Kentucky? And oh like yeah, 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 yeah. I know you talking about. Yeah, <laughs> that nigga was like yeah, number yeah, one they, over yeah. there. He was one on one on. Bro, and it was they, got that, they got that. They got that on YouTube of him um being on number one. They got a whole YouTube video about that. But I guess it's easy to look back and say, nigga, because, like, niggas be in high school, nigga be freshmen and, and sophomores and juniors and shit, and you trying to rank them and how you think they going to be in the NBA. Mm-hmm. That should be, like, eight years away. So, shit, it be but, hard. And then though. sometimes, That's bro, like, that shit be written on the wall, though. He be having some of them hoes off the wall, bro. He be having some. He be like, <laughs> wait, he got him over who? Like, he be, I don't he, I don't know what big, big Carter see a nigga so athletic and be like, Oh yeah, he's the best player in this class. He see somebody with some who can dunk real good. He putting them over anybody with the all around skill. I, th- I think that nigga had Cole oh, Anthony no. over Anthony Edwards. I think they were talking about this shit too. Man. All right, nigga, I seen Anthony Edwards there one time. And I said, bro, okay, if he put <laughs> this shit together, bro, it'll make that a fun that is hideous. That's hideous, but uh, so. Well, how you feel about Sunrise? Them niggas just it seemed like they they can't get it together. Every time they get on a little roll, they lose. And then it's just like the same. Yep, the same. The same I felt last time, bro. It's the same. Yeah, the same. They 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 up here one one moment and they down here. They like the most uh how can you, uh hot and cold team ever. Mm, hot and cold. Yeah, okay, because it's like. And I and still be getting smacked. Yeah. Because you'll catch them one game, they'll blow a nigga, blow a team out. You can catch them again. It's like, damn. Like, like, like Buzelis, like he started out the game strong. They, I think they started against Luha. They started out like it was like 10 to 2. Sunrise was, was on their ass. I was like, man, I'm going to cut this shit off. And then it was just like, it's just something about their team where it's just like, I don't know, something don't work with their team. I don't know what it is. They got the talent. And that's the thing. Just like AZ Comfort, you look at Sunrise roster and you like, okay, they got Blocker. They got Middleton. They got Buzelius. They got uh that African nigga. Uh, I can't think of that nigga name. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, they got Little. And it's just like, they should win Whoa. more games. John Bow, damn. 
probably should have called him an African nigga, but uh, <laughs> that mean, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. see, bro, this thing is funny. He said they got the African nigga. I could not. But it's crazy. Soon as you said that his face popped up, soon did you say that his face popped up? That's why I started laughing. Like, bro, I know exactly who you I fuck with him defensively. He said, no shade, but he just something about Sunrise <laughs> and AZ this year that was just so disappointing to me. All right. Even my bird, my bird been good, but it's just like they ain't been just too exciting to watch. So it's like, yeah, they ain't been they ain't, mm-hmm. they ain't been fun. They really haven't been fun to watch, bro. Like, uh, it's it's only like I say, it's a it's a hint. Like the one I'm saying, even when Oak Hill losing, they was actually fun to watch. It's games you can watch Oak Hill, even though they lose, that they was actually fun to watch. Lalo Mir the same way. Uh, I was just gonna uh, say Lalo Mir too. Yeah, I like IMG. Uh, IMG, I'm IMG, IMG, IMG. I really feel like. If Bryson Tucker, I don't know where he fell off the face of the damn earth. I don't know where the hell <laughs> Bryson Tucker at. But if he was playing, I swear they 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 would be a way better team. But without him, they were still fun to watch. So yeah, AZ in in Sunrise has just been a disappointment. Like I don't man, they <sighs> AZ been so terrible. Just for uh-huh. us watching, even they best games they look bad. So who's game. your favorite team to watch? Cause it's it's kind of winding down the season, kind of almost. So who's um, your favorite team to watch? You can give me three. I'm, if you want, I would say IMG, Luha, and you can say Lalumir. I say Lalumir, just cause okay. I like to see Gus. You know what I'm saying? I like I really like Gus, bro. Gus, I, I, do I mess too. with Gus. I mess with Gus, bro. So I say, I say Lalumir because they just they they team period. They got fighters over there, bro. They got mm-hmm. fighters, and I feel like with with teams like that, like. Even even though a lot of times they don't win or it ain't consistent winning, they always bring it. Like they make every no matter who they play, they make the team play hard. And I rather watch that than the team who's supposed to be good with a bad offense. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. That's terrible. <laughs> as soon as you said that, I'm just thinking about all them AZ games. I've wasted my time on something like, bro, this shit is just bad, bro. Bro, AZ has like, been terrible, bro. Them shit's been hard crazy. to watch, like all around. Like they've been like I know the sorry some of these sorry teams but uh been hard to watch, but bro, AZ been on the same level hard to watch as them. Like we legacy, just, bitch, bishop. I bro, I wouldn't dare watch one of their games. I couldn't do it. And I'm, I see I AZ playing, playing them, I'm really them, not gonna watch. Played, I never watched them. Bro. Legacy and Bishop Walsh, I never watched. I ain't watched them in two years. I think I watched Cool and Call that one time last year. And I'm like, yeah. I'm not watching these none of these, I, these I dudes can't. no more. Bro, it's it's hard it's they hard to watch, bro. Like every time I watch uh Legacy or Bishop Walsh, they either got they only got 40, 40 to 30 points every game. I'm what am I watching y'all for? That's true. Y'all yeah. on like every time I watch y'all, somebody got 70, 60, y'all 30, 70, 60, y'all 40. Like y'all my, and then my thing my thing with this, buddy, why is Cohen Carr not leading the NRBC in scoring? Like it don't make no sense to me. You you was in this shit last year. You a highly ranked prospect. Your team sucks. You should be just getting shots up. You should be playing like LeBron when Kyrie then was hurt. Kyrie kept just a nigga just getting 30, 40 every night, even though we know you go lose. It's like, bro, you supposed to be going out swinging individually. Yeah. That's the that's the thing lie. I didn't even see from him this year. Yeah, I'm finna say it ain't all the people you thought to be dominant wasn't dominant. I what I like this, this year just bit was like a underdog. I learned that I learned I learned about a lot of uh underdog players and players who like you know players who like if they was in last year's NIBC was ro- will be role players. You get what I mean? And mm-hmm. the role role players type players in this one has stepped up. So in the stars has been nowhere to be found. You know what I'm saying? So it's like is if you we really can say the update on this shit really has been a disappointment. <laughs> like yeah, it's really just been that's like just the update on this. Like we we to to the them the, the final games and that we we rarely watched them. They weren't even fun to watch on paper. Like I was seeing them games that there was match up. I'm like, bro, I'm not gonna watch no. I'm not gonna watch this. I'm sure not watching this game. I'm gonna check Lou High mm-hmm. Sunrise, but I'm not watching this game. I'm gonna check La Lumer. I'm not watching this game though. Like mm-hmm. they had a whole like 
I don't know. The scheduling was, I don't know. I, I feel like they just better add some better teams. Add some teams who, some some uh, local, they need to, if they got to add some teams, like just some top, I feel like the NIBC just need to be top teams, period. Just add more top teams. And I don't just, just try to say. No, add some top teams in there. Give me three teams you want added to the NIBC with, with teams that you know going to be good every year. Give me three. That'll be that'll be good every year that I put in here. Uh, I'm trying to see how how stuff is how stuff is going with these teams. Cause some of these teams be having players you can. All right, I'm a shit. Put the Boozer brothers in there. Put yep. the Boozer brothers. You in got there. two years I, with them. Yep. Uh, Perry. Put Perry in yep. there. Like uh, I like that. Man, if uh, bro, it's so it's so many teams. I, I, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Give me, man, I they could have put Duncanville in that mud. Shit, Shit. I, 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 I love to see Bishop Gorman. Gorman, Bishop Gorman, that, that bitch. Bro, it's so many. Uh, uh what's the other team? Put prolific, prolific prep. Put like prolific I want to say like link, oh, link. Yeah, like link. Yeah, I'm gonna say they gotta put put more of them teams in there. Like uh that that that's every year you know they're gonna have somebody. I feel like they they need to be in there more. Them type type teams or just uh any any team that that, that they know that has returning players that'll make NIBC uh like cause it's already competitive, but even more competitive. I feel like they should go in and do that. Like just bring teams that's gonna make make people wanna that make it where it's no boring games. I'm gonna say that. Yeah, <laughs> make it, make it, like give it that because this year, boy. It was hard to watch. I know it was hard to watch. I'm done with legacy and bishop. I'm done with them. Huh? Like them two teams, it's like nope. we done seen this two years in a row now. No point in them being they ain't got better. They ain't recruited nobody better. It's like I don't understand how you in NIBC, the best high school conference in the world, and you still ain't winning, got nobody to make you competitive. Out of all goddamn high school players. You ain't went. You 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 got Cohen Carr, nigga, who's supposed to be a top dog. You ain't went. Got nobody to put next to him. You ain't you ain't got nobody. And it's just like, God damn, I, I don't yeah. get it. Bishop Walsh, I don't know nobody on Bishop. What I am not gonna lie, I don't know nobody. Uh, I ain't knew nobody on Bishop Walsh for two years. Hold on, I'm I'm confused. I forgot who Bishop Walsh even. Uh, I think it's that who Brown. Bishop what? I don't. I don't know. I don't care to know. They ain't been competitive for two years. They regularly. I, like, I don't even. I don't think I know B Bishop Walsh uh, roster. I think. <laughs> I think they don't. I think they only won like four, like four games in two years, something like that. So it's like that shit. Yeah, it's like, bro, either get them out the league or tell them to recruit better. Damn, it's like, man, that's should terrible. nobody have no? Should nobody have no guaranteed wins in the best league in the sport? Because it's literally like everybody gonna be competitive except for them two teams. I'll say that. Who is so, they star player? Shit. I don't even know who Bishop Walsh star player is. Who I'm they? Gonna, I'm gonna look up. Look up uh, right. I need. I need to know. Just cause that shit. Is my care. Tyne, my care. Who did? Is that their uniforms? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I guess. I don't know. Like, man, I oh, hope, but they did say they was added teams though. The dude that run NIBC, that yeah, yeah, I, they, they, I don't think they have a damn choice. Yeah, Michael, that's who they star players. He 5'10. Uh, Mike Williams, he averaged 14. I don't know. See, niggas ain't even averaging no points this year. Like, this shit ain't even been VJ Edgecomb. That nigga averages 17 points. He the leading scorer. Bruzellis, 15. Uh, Colin Murray Boyles. I ain't gonna send Wasatch bit. I don't be fucking Wasatch like that either. Yeah, they 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 ain't for they not fun to watch. This That's dude coin car averaged 11 points. I mean 12 points, bro. He averaged 12 I'll, points, bro. and it's probably he just like there. but it's probably like six dunks. <laughs> That shit sad, bro. You got three niggas on on, on La Lamar averaging more than him. It's three niggas on one team average more than Coin Core, a nigga who got his team to himself. Literally. 
That shit sad, bro. That boy got, I'm out. That boy got, that boy got six dunks. I mean, that's how you get his points. <laughs> that shit crazy, bro. That man, he disappointed me. I thought at least he was going to be something to watch on a bad team. Dude getting 12 points. Like that. Where, where he going, Michigan State? Yeah. He not going to play. He not going to play year one. You can't play I, year I, one. I, I think I, – I think I think he he he'll, he'll probably play, but I don't think he's gonna be a factor. You know what I mean? Who he probably he'll he probably a play. Oh, oh, first, first, so Xavier first Booker. Booker. He yeah. not gonna play, bro. Nah, nah, he, 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 I think he'll play, but I don't think he's gonna be a factor. Is well. th- th- think about Michigan State. They gonna have seniors. They gonna have juniors. And then Cohen Carter, his skill level and his progression in his game, I don't see it. Just like what's the name? Uh, it went to Ohio State. They, they came from uh over there. Uh, what's the dude's name that I didn't like? And I was just like, oh, man, I'm off him. The, the, the shooting guard, he ended up going to Ohio State. Uh, remember, I was like, yeah, he takes too many shots, bad shot selection. Teammates look mad at him all the time. Man, what's the, what's the guard from Ohio State that just went to Ohio State? He ain't getting no PT over there right now. But he was like the leading school. I think he played with, with – with, uh, for one of them sorry teams for NIBC. Oh, Damn, oh you talking about um, Roddy Gale. Gale, yeah, Roddy that's who you talking about. Roddy I could Gale. I could not think of his name, I but I remember you said uh, the stuff you were saying about him. Hey, take your mama, bro. I'm potting right now, bro. Chill, chill. Chill, take your mama. Kiara. Let me say, bro, he wasn't doing it. Like, it's just like, you know, sometimes I see some people and I'm like, his game ain't even ain't ready or he just not good enough. Yeah, and Roddy Gale. I feel like Cohen Carl gonna be one of them. Like he might get in and get like a dunk or two a game off a lob or something. But in terms he'll, of he'll being get, a he factor, gonna sports, he gonna get some sports center plays off his dunking. But that's it. Hey, he ain't no, he ain't no. I, I, I think if you, I think if you take his athleticism away, he just queen. He barely that. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. I like sorry, that's, Queen. That's, queen played better. Their queen that. got better. Yeah, got their better. queen played better than that. But I'm just saying, like. For what we thought Queen was before he got better. Hey, bro, hold the fuck on. Man, I'll just be trying to say. Because, man. man. Boy, average 12 points. That boy averaged 12 points his senior year, buddy. <laughs> Shit, we can average 12 points. <laughs> Who 12 points here? And it ain't even. He ain't like he not even on a Montverde type team. Am I tripping, bro? Like it's really like it's getting to me because it's like everybody was hyping up Corn Car, Ben Cardi. Like, oh yeah, he did. He the next this. He this. He this. This and that. Nick came out his senior year on the team by himself. That sucks. Getting twelve points. Nope. It's three niggas on La Lumera getting more points than him. Three. It's three. And he's a saint, man. I guess we can. <laughs> yeah. We've been we, 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 we on corn call ass all day. We don't let this Nah, yeah. Nah. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. So, you said you had, uh, oh, yeah. It was bleeding in. So, top five most underrated players, regardless of class. Yeah, man. Uh, I, this. I, this like this is a, my list is like for well, this is hot like how I really felt like I was like bro this like these players really need to be talked about more or do a lot and don't get mentioned either they not ranked high enough or people just act like they they like people act like they don't exist so coming in number one on my list you got Deshaun Harris Smith my boy okay I like he had to come one on my list just because. I done seen all the games I done watched from Paul. He was the engine. And they got other players, too, that actually played good. But it starts with him. I seen all around everything from him. I done seen athleticism. I seen defense. I done seen scoring. I ain't seen – it's nothing I ain't seen Deshaun Harris Smith. It's nothing I haven't seen him do. Can you chill out, bro? And so I, he had to come in one. And then they was winning. And he was the re mm-hmm. one of the main reason they was winning. I ain't see no bad game from him when they was playing comp or nothing. So he had mm-hmm. to come one. So you know, yeah, two on my list. I got my boy Blue Kane. 
out of, out of every out of everybody in, that I was expecting the NIBC to be a, a player, like just to be a factor, he he wasn't he wasn't one of them dudes that that I thought that by the end of after all the NIBC I done watched that he'll be on my on my top my top underrated list, bro. Mm. Every game we done watch the IMG, Blue Kane gets better. Like he's yep. always doing something else. Like either he gonna be doing this, he might be doing every game is all around, but he gonna be doing some in a different category way better. His scoring get better. The way he's scoring, he might kill you with all jump shots. He might kill you with going to the lane. He might kill you on uh fast break points. You just never know. And what I this is what I like about it, bro. He a baller. Like he do everything. He come clutch. Blue Kane need to be talked about more. Blue Kane need to be I ain't talked gonna about. I say Blue Kane has been the best guard in the NIBC in terms of his overall impact on every game and close games and Thanks. just just like putting stuff together at the right times and like I think, I don't know because like between him and Edge Cone like Edge Cone younger he a junior but Blue Kane just he was being more polished more clutch mm -hmm. like just just everything you look for out of that scoring guard that can play make. Defend it's just like that boy Blue Kane has been he damn never been playing special. So. Yeah, why yeah, so that's that's why he too like and I, I like because I was fit, I was gonna put him one, but I'm like, I gotta put this Sean Harris Smith just because I feel like it's crazy how underrated he is. Like it's off it's, the wall because he's been like a killed superstar. everybody. Yes, he's been like killed a everybody. He's been like a superstar, bro. He he like Blue yeah. Kane coming from Role like they just got him in this, this special role. He's been uh, like overplaying that role that they've been having. Like that's that's why he coming in there too. But Sean Harris Smith, has, it's, the disrespect on him is is wild. I'm surprised he's not a top five player in this class. That's how good. It don't make no sense. It's, it's, it's I, really, I honestly it's really don't bad. know what more he got to do. I don't know what he what more Deshaun Harris Smith got to do. My thing is he check every box in terms of physicals. He check mm -hmm. every box in terms of play and then team success. So it's like, bro, I don't know what else he could do. Like, for him not to be in the top 20 at least. That's that's wild. I don't know. I don't know. So that's that's one and two. <laughs> Three, I've been I've been screaming. I've been screaming at Ben Cardi for this third player for the longest. But my third on my list is Jerry Easter. I like mm. I I like I haven't seen the game like live, but from Goose to to resume, bro. I already got two thousand career high school points, and he's just a sophomore. Explain, explain. <laughs> How, bro, 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 bro? DJ just crossed two thousand, and he's a senior. You lying? I swear to God on on my life, bro. I can look. I'm I'm finna show you. No, I believe I believe you, but what the hell? I had to break that down because you. I was like, didn't didn't he just say this nigga Wagner? Yeah, just bro, got Wagner just got two thousand points, bro, and he's a senior, and that and that's and like that's already big when you crossing two thousand in high school. But as a sophomore, you play two Dang. years. That is player of the year crazy. last year as a freshman. Player of the year last year in Ohio, the state. Ohio, he was player of the year, won a championship. I think, if I'm not mistaken, if he haven't won, I think they they either in the uh in the uh the state championship right now or or, if they, or he probably probably already won the motherfucker. But bro, like, what else? Hold on, let me go because I know I got I got so much shit on East. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. I'm like, okay, I get it. He probably you know he played for his uh his uh, hometown school, his local. I get all it, but bro, the, like it's just the numbers, like this, this, this getting me. I'm like, bro, I don't care where you playing at. This just goes to show you can be a leader, bro. Like, I, I, don't, I don't get it. Hold on, hold on, bear with me. Hold on, let me find. Nigga, that's crazy. I'm, how many, how many games do you play in a high school season? I'm trying to think. They play like fucking. Uh, it like, bro, I mean, bro, bro got like fifty point games and shit. Yes, bro. He down there got 30 offers already, bro. Like he bro, everybody won't, bro. Hold on. Let me find it. Uh Cherry Easter. Bro, he uh I'm you tell me about him all the time. 
Yeah, it's just, bro, we you can't watch no live games. Like, I even go yeah. watch live full game, like the games that they got his highlights on YouTube. I literally go watch them, and it looks like he don't even be playing at full speed. Bro, be chilling. It's like, bro, that's how easy it looks for him. All, like, he play at this one pace. It's never like, bro, like, bro, he's already 6'6". Six, six. He big as hell. Like, it's, bro, it's, it's really going to be – it's hard to stop, bro. I'm trying to find – um when uh, That class is fucking crazy, bro. 2025 is ridiculous. I'm trying to find it now. <laughs> that, uh, while you were looking for it, they were talking about running them class. You know, they had him top 10 in uh, the 2024 draft. And people was like, man, cap, whoa, whoa, whoa. But then it was like, man, this class so weak. You never know, bro. <laughs> and I was just like, that's crazy. Because me, I feel like me and you was the first people talking about how weak this class was. That 2024 oh, it's, class. It's like, it's, it's, uh, uh, now, now I feel bad because I said the wrong number. It's, it's not 2,000. It's 1,000. Okay, but that's okay. still not bad. That's still not bad. I was just going to say he halfway to DJ. Yeah, I said, yeah, he halfway. Like, by, he probably going to break that junior year. Cause it's like what, what I think it's a thousand. It's a, it's a thousand. It's for change. It ain't flat out a thousand. <laughs> Cause he's still he's still That's playing crazy. right now. He fucking around yeah, with twenty five hundred, bro. Like, yeah. So and then not even just that. Like, bro, it's like the the just he's getting the the triple doubles, bro. Get forty tens and tens, and I'm not talking about like just off rebounding. Ten steals, eleven steals. Why is he getting? <laughs> 40 points, 10 assists, and 11 steals in a high school game. Like, are you serious? Like, this is like, it's like, it's like fucking 2K high school. Like, what the, bro, I ain't got to, I just want to know. He ain't played none of the top guys yet. He ain't played nobody. Nah, yet. None I'll, 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 probably, yet. probably in Ohio, but probably not. You know, that's probably why he not ranked too crazy because, like, he probably playing the best in Ohio, but not. Um, not no Ohio got niggas some niggas. Play. They had Rayvon, they had Cups, but you, had, know, uh, you know, you know, they moving though. You know, they going to different yeah. like school, they going to different schools. That's why I feel like uh Jerry Easter, if they win they what's name this year by junior year, I think because you know this junior year be a big year. I think he gonna move. I don't think he's gonna stay at that school for two more years. I think he oh, he, he winning with them and he like, Oh, yeah, I'm finna go on dip. He gonna go to one of these doggone schools just to, to get more attention or play better competition. And I think people then then that's when people are gonna see, finally see. But I'm just putting people on game right now, bro. He's mm-hmm. a sophomore. And he's already six six, about two hundred pounds, bro. He's big as hell. Like I don't seen him. I don't seen the jumper. I don't seen finishing. You can't stop him. There's nothing you can do when you hit point guard at six six. Be he damn near the same size as uh, Deshaun Harris Smith at point guard. Like it's nothing you can do about it. You just gotta really just take that L. I done seen the playmaking. I done seen the vision. I we ain't got to talk about defense. I done like I I, I had to put him three because I ain't seen no live game. But it's just the fact that the numbers he putting up in, at a local school, you still got to be talked about. You know what I'm saying? Like just like how they do everybody else. And it's just if they, if he played more comp, I think he'll be talked about. But just because he haven't played no no big comp, that's probably why. But hey, I don't give a damn. These these numbers. <laughs> Is hey, them numbers speak volumes, bro. They speak volumes. So yeah, yeah. He third on my. When did list people? Too. When did people start trying to discredit numbers? That's my whole thing. Like, man, this like, nigga averaging forty. Bro. Oh, but he ain't playing up, no- nigga. You can't like, drop forty at the YMCA. Like, bro, be, like, bro they talk about corn car when he just got a dunk. I feel like, bro, just, you can still talk like when I, I hate. I just hate seeing that twenty twenty five list. In that class, so they got a good class, and not seeing Easter in that top fifteen, top ten, top five. like it, it's oh, crazy yeah. to me. Like that shit, like half of them, half of twenty twenty five play for their schools. It's probably like a, probably like a handful of them who don't that don't play for their local schools. But half of them, like uh Malik Thomas, he play for his school. Like he play for his, oh, his okay. local school. Cole, mm-hmm. like yeah, you're right. Like bro, they play for their school. So I'm like, I don't understand how even okay, like. He's not okay. He probably ain't played none of them yet, but goddamn, he played for his local school and he going crazy. Like, you can't come on, you can't hate on that. You gotta get that man credit where it's due. But bro, people don't people don't understand. They got freshman teams, JV, and then varsity. If a nigga going off like this on varsity freshman year or something, I don't care where it is. It's, it's it's crazy. Like, so like, yeah, that's my that's third. We've been talking about this dude already, fourth VJ. 
Edge Cum need to be love, higher. Him, he need to be ranked higher. When we was going through these rankings, um, not too long ago on one of these episodes, we was kind of like mad because we we've been watching Ian Jackson. Every time we watch Ian Jackson on TV, he don't never show up. And Paul Ben Cardi loved to put him at this two spot, and I'm just like, bro, he's not showing up on TV. You know how uh, how much Ever. of a cancer you gotta be to not show up on TV, not even just a little bit, bro. Be having Ever. like two points. He be having that like shit. two points on ESPN games. That shit was nasty, bro. That last oh, game bro. against Justin Edwards, that was nasty. Bro. Come on, bro. Like, it, it's ridiculous how bad he plays on TV. Every time we watched him against Duncanville, we watched him against uh, Satanio. Lake we watched Lake, Lake Holland, bro. Bro, we don't watch him against so many teams and he is not a factor, bro. It gets, it gets to the point like, bro, how much I don't want to, I don't care about. What he doing when I don't watch him on ESPN? He's not doing right. a thing. He's not doing so not even a little bit. What have you seen from his game? Game. What have you seen from his game on TV? <laughs> like what, yeah. what you like about his game on TV that you see? He can jump. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, I promise, buddy. That's the only thing I'm like. Okay, nigga, nigga got some athleticism, but <laughs> shit in terms of just like IQ, ball skills. Shooting defense, I ain't seen shit. I ain't gonna lie. Like I be trying not to do that shit with the young kids, but he ain't showed me nothing. But well, I ain't seen nothing from Ian Jackson since the uh, the uh, uh, twenty four uh, the under uh, uh, Under Armour twenty four stuff. The Under Armour. He did do all right. He did, he did all right, nigga. He, he did, did right. but but after that, it's been I I've seen nothing. I now now I don't see yeah. like. The games he didn't play uh, live on ESPN that they say he was having 35 points in here, but I don't credit that because, bro, when I watch you, you're not doing that. You're not doing that, bro. Like, he's not getting doubled or nothing. Even last year when DJ was on his uh, surge, when he was playing good teams, they was doubling him. They're like, look, you're not getting none. you the number one junior. You ain't getting none. Ian Jackson is not getting doubled or nothing. He's just playing. He's just not playing good. Yeah, he's just not playing it's good. Not. Like it's, it's like it's like no, it's not no it's scheming. Not. They're not scheming him or nothing. He's just not playing good. Buddy, I don't even think it's he's not playing good. I think he's just not good. And there's a difference. I, I swear, I, like I'm not, I'm not trying to play like that. But bro, if I see you play four times, you done showed me who you were, bro. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't look, no. Look, look, and oh, it's not even like a. It's not even like a four. Like where he's like, ah, oh, he just had ten points. It's a bad four. I'm so, bro. I, I swear to God, he probably in all them games we watched and four total games we watched, him probably had like five points. Mm-hmm. And it's not even just shooting bad. It's like he's not adding no value to the team like this. He takes a lot. I say he was taking a lot of shots and missing layups. Like, bro, Ian Jackson, Ian Jackson probably been one of the worst of 2025 I've seen. And how high he's ranked, it's embarrassing. I mean, I. I remember we went over it. All the niggas would take over him, and that shit was a long list. And that's, and that's, that's, and, how, I'm and that's how we end up talking about about uh, uh, uh talking about him because, like, you you look at some of these players in in like in these class, no matter what class, you be like, damn, like, bro, VJ need to be talked about more. Why is like we don't watch him kill NIBC? We don't watch him kill be be the best player on his team in in a, in a leading a, scorer, season. second second best team in NIBC, leading scorer in all NIBC. I don't see what what more Pilot being Cardi want to see. He he hit the eye test, the physical tools, physical. team success. That's why I'm like, bro, I don't get it. BJ, he a monster, and what he did to Victorious Middle yesterday, well the other day, because Victorious he came out hot, mm-hmm. and then he was hitting jump after jumper. Talking his that's, shit. That's the, that's, the on him. that's the victorious we've been waiting to see all year. That's the victorious we for coming from uh, when we seen him in the summer, how he was playing until now. That's that, that's the VJ. I mean, not the VJ. That's the uh, victorious we've been wanting to see and what VJ do. All right, yeah, okay. Gave him one now. half. <laughs> you hype now. Bet. Shut it down. And, and like, come on, bro. Underrated. So that he come in B- for him. BJ get, BJ get tips. He get like uh like hustle plays, perimeter defense. He with his jumper going, his drive game. It's just like he's a complete wing slash shooting guard. He kind of athletically, he kind of remind me of Derek Whitehead. Like when he mm-hmm. get like he's not he's not as tall, but like that build and the way he run and just the athleticism. Mm-hmm. 
it's kind of white headish. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, last on my list, I another play I haven't seen live, but from every time from the highlights I've seen from YouTube and just from physical build and every time he play, I'm hearing about him. Marcus Adams Jr. Another 2024 that's underrated. Another 24. You remember yeah, last yeah, time? Man. You know, um, you remember I sent you his videos when he was playing Mikey, the the wing. Oh, wing. okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a, that's another player. I, every time I see highlights from him, he scoring defense, but just like just the way he scored, okay, he yeah. looked like one of them wings. And it, that, that mm. where they put you the the Paolo slash mellow slash like he and he and that he and that far as the way he's scoring, how much of a presence he is when he playing on his team. Every time I watch a highlight of him, I'm like, bro, this dude gonna be so cold. He get class 2024, and I think he like rank 50, 60. He gave he he whooped Mikey mm. them ass. I'm talking, he gave them <laughs> he whooped they ass. I'm talking, he gave them boy, he did them so dirty. But just the fact that he like rank 50, 60 physical tools, or uh, what what Paul Ben Cardi say he scored, scored all three levels. Like <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand how. Dudes like this don't get talked about. Paint protecting, I don't seen from. I don't seen deep. I don't seen everything from him off highlights, and he's scoring. He scored a lot of points, and he got he got a brother that's on that team with him. I think he, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know if his brother's in the same class. And I don't know if they twins or not. I don't think they're twins, but he got a brother that's play. They play damn near similar to him, and they on the same team, and they like the two that kind of run stuff over there. But him by himself, he bro, he he hard to, he hard to contain. Okay. Like, I already I'm know, like 2024 when they like next year. Or I don't know. I don't know if bro gonna move or whatever he gonna do, but we gonna see. You gonna see a lot of his name coming up because I call I call he to him in the summer. Okay, summer, I, summer. I, I do remember you telling me about him, and now I gotta keep up with hey, him. It's just them start, two with Easton and him. Prizes. I just gotta see. I just gotta see them live. I just gotta see the games live. This see, I just want to see. Yeah. I just want to see them play better competition and see them live. But bro, them numbers from them two, the size, like, like him being like six seven, the way he can score is just like what you want in your wing. He really aggressive, athletic, like. Bro, I done seen I done seen a lot from Marcus Adams. Yeah, I'm just like, bro, I just really want to see bro live and see how how everything gets around him, see how he play with teammates and stuff like that. But bro, he can he he can play either he can either be like the score who don't need no dunks. He can play off bars. I like a lot of his highlights, they be giving him a lot of oops because he's like real athletic. Then I see some where he just killing with jump shots, killing with fades, and like he got he got a bag. He got a bag, so mm -hmm. that's that's my that's my five that I got. I just think people just need to talk about more, just need to be ranked higher, like not even just like underrated as far as nobody know who they is. Like just bro, sometimes they bro ain't no way the Sean Harris Smith, Blue Kane, Jerry Easter, VJS come like that, bro. They where they rank that in these classes is 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 crazy. Like it's crazy. Like them them these dudes the way they playing, they need to be either top fifteen or top ten or top five. Bro, it's, I ain't going to stunt because, like, I seen these two more, like uh, Deshaun Harris-Smith and VJ Edgecombe. When you winning that much, when you got the physical tools, and when you playing the best competition, stats looking good, I don't see what the problem is with they, with they rankings, especially them two. I got to catch Easter. I got to catch more Adams. Mm -hmm. uh, Blue Kane was a good one. Yeah. I, I love his game, so – Yo, yeah, I'm feeling in that top five. And that was a real top five from 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 me, like that. I really feel like that was a real. That wasn't like no random. Nah, let me think. I was like, bro, when I sent when I text you that, I was in the car on my on my lunch. I'm like, bro, let me go on and type my list because I, I I had most of them already. Like, I think I had the first three like in like a minute. I had already typed their names. I'm like, oh, that's good. And I thought of two. I'm like, oh yeah, these two. Oh yeah, this is my list right here. So I had already yeah. had really everybody on my head already. But yeah, that's my list right there. Um, see, I'm, I'm gonna keep mine short. So, yeah, I really didn't make one kind of really because I kind of always had them couple dudes that I had. Yeah. It's like, uh, like Devin. See, and it, it is kind of like my mine's ain't no stars, it's kind of like role role player type guys like Devin that's Williams cool. at Centennial. Oh, yeah, uh, Devin Williams. Hey, that's a good one. Devin Williams, uh, for real, for real. Josh Holloway, the point guard at Oak Hill, he was doing some stuff I like. Uh, mm -hmm. 
Michael Robinson in Oak Hill, Zay yeah. Lowry and Lalo Murray. Yeah, Zay, that's your boy. Yeah, I miss uh, Zay. Too. Gus Yaldin and uh, Lalo Murray. But so, it's crazy. Uh, Zayd and Gus was two dudes I thought about, but I had to put my real dear heart on how I really yeah. felt about these other players first. But Zayd and Gus did pop up in my I, head. I, I so, did want to put, I did want to put them in there. Remember, I, hey, mark my words, Marquette, they top, they a top 10 team right now. Yeah. Zay Larry going to Marquette, Shaka Smart gonna perfect. get him right, bro. And it's perfect because, bro, I'll look out of everything, bro. He wanted in the NIBC, one of the best defenders in the NIBC that I seen uh, uh, out of uh, VJ is coming and a couple more. Zay Lowry is that uh, what you want in a shooting guard, like at the next level, at any next level you need for his college in in uh in the NBA. He just got like he got all of the what what you want. And his future, bro, is bright as hell. We ain't even and, talk and he's about. already he's cool with being a role player. Like he don't try you know, to overdo it. He cool with it. Mm. But yeah, um, yeah, bro. Like Zay Lowry is like one of them dudes. This I already know when college time comes, it, it won't be a surprise when I see a lot of him. It won't, it won't, it won't come as no shocker when I've seen him come out of nowhere just averaging 18 points a game out of no fucking where. <laughs> I'm telling, I'm telling you, bro. Out of nowhere, I'm telling you, he gonna be one of them. I already know he is. It, it, it's, it's not that I don't think he gonna be a. I don't think he gonna be a star, nothing like that, like that for real, for real. But just his plug and play, three and D, yeah. cop, well poke type nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So Them dudes be important in college, bro. So when it comes to winning and then tournament play, that's, that's that shit. That's how bad that shit mean a lot. But yeah, uh, those was a couple of dudes that I just always been fucking with. I think Michael Robinson out of twenty twenty four, he got some of the highest upside. upside like he ain't yeah. put it all the way together yet. But that but size, he do. With that first step, that when jump shot, that shit's crazy. When he do, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if I start seeing him everywhere when he finally do. So, uh, we we'll, damn, we done ran through these topics, boy. It's been it's like we were talking about them, all, <laughs> and we was talking about them most for a long time. So it's like, damn, I'm like, okay. But uh, Nate Smith high, boy, high School Boys All America team, the first team. Cam Boozer, Isaiah Collier, Justin Edwards, Ron Holland, DJ Wagner. So let's talk about their first team real quick. It's How not. It's not. Gonna, it's not. That's as good as a first as a um, first team Nate Smith as you can get. <laughs> like this really is good as you, this is good as you gonna get right there. Like I have no complaints about that. There's nothing else you like gonna get from all them players. You know, from what you watch live, team success, just. All, all the times, you, like from hearing, even against competition, like all them dudes done play. So I have nothing to say about their first team. Their first team is as perfect as it's going to get. Now, this second team. Second uh, team. I, I only, the only, thing, the only thing about the second team, I mean, I understand why Cooper flagged their next first team because he not as uh, uh ha- hasn't been like real crazy scoring as them other dudes in first team. But as a player, like just an all around player, he I think. Who Cooper, what Cooper Flash bring to a team? That's why I put him first team, just because of what he bring. Without him on that Montverde team, shit would be crazy. It would like and what he do bring, late, what he yeah, do late in yes, game. He actually bring balance to that team. He actually like he's a he's a real deal factor as a sophomore over there. So that's why that's the only like seeing him second team is ugly. But I understand why he's second team. So the the. The only thing why, because I, I was looking at this and I, I like, like you said, I thought it was perfect. It's like you can't take Boozer off, you can't take Holly off, yeah. Edwards off, can't take yeah. Holland off, can't take DJ yeah. off. And it's just like you just right can't, off. you can't take none, none of them off. <laughs> you you know can't. They, they so, all show and play up to part for years. This not even just like one year. Oh, like even yeah. though we just on Boozer, like he's his his this year for him has been so crazy. You gotta have him on there. He out of everybody on this, bro. We he he was our favorite. Him and him I, and um Justin Edwards. You had him and just you had just uh, Justin Edwards. But it, both of us both agreed that that uh Boozer. I feel like Boozer should have won this award, bro. I am I'm not gonna lie. I feel like Boozer should have won. He's like, a good player in high school. Like I like Isaiah Collier <laughs> winning was like damn what. 
No, was that just, was it, that, that, that messed me up. I'm like, out of everybody, like, bro, you know, we had dark horses, then we had this guy, then like, hey, Justin Edwards, you right, Justin Edwards can win, and hey, you right, he can win, but at hey, all them dudes, Isaiah Kyle was not one of them dudes I thought was going to win, and I like Isaiah Kyle, but I'm like, bro, the games we seen from him on ESPN, he had, he had like probably like two that was like real good where we was like, okay. But them other ones was like he was trying to do too much or his team was just playing so bad or they was as far as his playmaking or he was just missing, he was fin- or missing layups, missing dunks. Like, but from them other guys we watched live and on them ESPN, uh, ESPN games, they were just more of a better factor than um uh, he was besides this last game when he played Castle. Besides the last game when he played Castle, um, the uh, them other games was just like uh, he could be better, you know what I'm saying? So when he won, I was just like, yeah. ah, didn't he get right. outplayed by a nigga on his team on one of the games? It was a nigga on his team that was going off. Niggas like, who was this? Uh, I, I can't remember, I think, but I think he, he got dreaded. Dreaded. Yeah. Like, yeah, he, he had um, bro, he was just missing a lot of his either his jumper wasn't wasn't uh, wasn't dropping. He just he just had some bad uh TV games except one. One or two, he had bad, but he had some bad TV games. But all in all, like, see, he won, he won. It's cool. I, like, no disrespect to Kyle. I actually like Kyle. You know what I'm saying? It's just out of everybody on this list that I watched multiple games from, I didn't think he was gonna win it over them. I really didn't. Hey, I, I'm gonna keep it a buck. That Collier player of the year, that shit was cap. I'm gonna go keep it a buck. It should have either been Cameron Boozer or Justin Edwards. No debate. One of them two. Right. Like I don't know what they was watching when I saw. I really wasn't expecting it. Like I wasn't yeah, expecting. Sure. It. I was. I, I saw that and I'm like, oh yeah, I, I can't do this. <laughs> I don't even think we brought him up when we was talking about player of the year. Like, I, like I don't know, bro. Like that. that we didn't a, even bring him up because I ain't gonna say I had a. I think I had a segment for this, but I guess we can it, it'll all bleed in because it's all the same shit. High school, but mm-hmm. I feel like I feel like Collier wasn't even in the running for me in my in my head because we went through the he list one of them la- the episodes. He wasn't. And we didn't even talk about him too much. We didn't talk about he, he like probably, he really he had a talk about Ron Holland. Like, bro, the play I feel like player of the year, like bro, that's that's big, and then half of them, half of them dudes is it's crazy as sins. And Cameron Boozer is the only Sophomore to even be in it, him and um, him and flag, but just the fact that bro Boozer was actually whooping some of these guys, some of them he didn't, some of them he did, but just the fact that he was whooping a lot of them was just like, man, I thought I, I really thought he was gonna win it, like, I thought he deserved it, you know what I'm saying? I really I, thought he did. I, I think Cameron Boozer right now is the rare breed of a player where he would get the triple good. crown, give it, give like. It. I feel mm-hmm. like he's the, I feel like he's the best player in high school. He'll be the best player in college, mm-hmm. and the number one pick in the draft. Oh yeah, facts. All, all, all three of those, I, I can, I can agree with. <laughs> triple crown. How many people done got that triple crown? Niggas say you number one in high yeah. school. You be number one uh, pick coming out. Nah, yeah. that's the triple crown, bro. But the angle yeah, stuff. Yeah, uh, Boozer, yeah, Boozer. Three, he, 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 yeah. He, he, are you he, surprised to see three sophomores? Three sophomores on the first and second team combined? You surprised to see three sophomores? No, I know you're I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I actually like you know how I feel about 2025. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not surprised. I'm not like I know what they bringing. I really do. I know what they bring. It's, it's actually good to see like that. Uh, that, that, uh, that these young dudes evolving, bro. It's, it's actually good to see, and it's crazy, bro. Like, bro, they got the. I, I'm taking they top three in any of these classes, bro. I'm Ooh. taking 2025 top three over anybody top three in these classes. I don't care I, who you want to pull out the hat. That top three is better than anybody top three from 2022 or whatever. Or DJ them class 2024, the freshman club, whatever. Them three, McCoy Peak. Flag and booze is no is getting no better than that, bro. And we we I just sent you a core P drop 35 in a damn state championship game. The hell is he doing? I ain't, <laughs> ain't gonna stunt fool. This <laughs> sophomore class, I'm glad they getting the love. I'm glad they're not trying to do that seniority shit. But I'm not trying to get these niggas no love because it's like this the best class in high school. So like to see hey. to see Dylan Harper, Cooper Flag, and see Cam Booze in this motherfucker, I was like. 
Yeah, that class special. And we gotta we gotta kind of keep track of this going forward on the show. Who's been the best sophomores that we done seen? Cameron Blues are probably the best 15 year old basketball player I've ever seen. Period. No, we done, and, then, and then not even just like the stars, right. just sophomores, period, in the NIBC. Yeah, period. Sophomores, and period, in the NIBC has been good. Like sophomores, period, as a as a whole, has just been a bet, oh, just yeah. been better. Facts. And it's a lot of sophomores, like we don't even just like a regular games we don't watch on ESPN. They just had uh like Paul, they got a, uh some sophomores over there, they got some even some freshmen over there that's uh that's good. Like bro, it's sophomores and freshmen on a lot of these scenes where we just kind of seem like they a sophomore, they a freshman, yep. shit. Like they class is just out, like it's, it's just wild, bro. It's wild. So I like it ain't surprising to me, but you know. I'm just surprised that Kyle, but he beat Ron Holland, Justin. Like, bro, it's that's wild. That's Ron Holland, bro. I, ain't gonna Ron say, Holland, I was watching. Bro. I was watching Jared Vanderbilt, bro, and I was like, Ron Holland can do all this shit, and I think he can mm-hmm. score a little more. He can do like just switching on the perimeter, switching on the big for a second, bring the ball up court a little bit, hit a little midi, a three. I'm like, bro, Ron Holland can be Jared Vanderbilt two point five. Really, man, because like, because Ron Holland developing his uh, his bag right now, yeah, he's scoring and he's and that thing. by the time he gets to uh, to, to the league, he gonna be a little bit more polished in terms of what he can do on the perimeter in terms of his handling, his shooting, and stuff like that. And uh, that defense is already ready, and that, oh, yeah. that fire, that competitive fire. And just how you add a dude like that, and they just up the whole team. They added Jared Vanderbilt to the Lakers, buddy, and that team just got instantly better just because of nigga effort. And, and the, the, the fact that they got him for nothing. That what made me mad because I, I was looking, I'm like, bro, Van, they sleeping on Vanderbilt. The fact that they just let him go Van, for nothing, that's the pay, like, I don't know. They crazy. <laughs> Vanderbilt and Josh Hart. That's who BJ Edgecombe remind me of, like Josh, Josh Hart. Hart. Yeah. And, and mixed with some like with some uh Dorit Whitehead, and it's like just just smooth hustle, defending. Like I don't know, bro. These dudes, some of these dudes, I just know they're going to be, contribute to winning. And yeah, Ron, like, Ron, see, Ron Holland, like Ron Holland at Texas, is gonna be some of the best. Like, bro, I don't think I don't think people gonna like understand how good bro is gonna be. Like. And then, like his his resume, like just being Duncanville uh, on that team four years, at, on varsity, bro. I think, bro. I think his record is like he like one hundred and twenty three and like eight in high school basketball over there. Like that's mm-hmm. like, <laughs> like bro. Like it, it's crazy. Like just the stuff he bring to the team. Like, uh, like the championships he don't he don't want. Like he got one of the best resumes in, in high school, bro. Like, he, he got do. one of the best resumes in high school. Like, it, it, like a lot even of these Even against players, prep schools. Even against yes. prep schools as a, even as a public prep school. Schools, bro. And it's like, it's like the stuff that Ron, Ron Holland do is like, is, is, is like so impressive in the, to a point like you understand like, that's why I'm saying like, that's why it's crazy that Isaiah Kali won. I'm like, bro, you can't, I just don't like, how can he beat that? How can't have? <laughs> but, it's it's cool, but you know what I'm saying like yeah, but these, these um these Nate Smith they uh they cool. The fact the only thing that I'm saying like because I I think they had a third team too, and some old stuff. But we, you know that would have been all day. We would have been we would have been on that going on all day, and they had some honorable mentions. They had the Sean Harris Smith in there, and I'm trying to figure out why he's an honorable mention and not on one of these damn teams. Oh, he was an honorable mention. Off. Come, I ain't trying to get off topic, bro. Why they got Bruce Ellis going one for the day? <laughs> bro, I, I got Bruce Ellis going. On. That's like the worst draft uh class I don't, I, I mean, that they put together. Man. I don't seen in my life, bro. It's like that they, Anthony Bennett, Victor Oladipo class, uh, where it's like, bro, Nico had to just get lucky at the 13th pick and hope you get a Giannis on the second round, get a Jokic. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, for like real. That, Bro, because Bruce Ellis ain't been ain't been ain't been the best all day. So, yeah, I can't. I, I can't. You I can't. you know we love Bronny, top ten pick. Hell, like, I, I love know, Bronny. Bro. I love I, Bronny too, bro. I'm taking him ten. That class I think they is only weak. doing that. They only doing that because, bro, his uh, they want him to be oh, available for his pops. Not not, not, not the dude that made the rankings. The dude that made the rank, he said, man, this class weak. I'll take him. 
That's literally what he was saying. Like, me in the clan. Oh, like, oh okay. Just, uh, just, like, based off, like, athleticism right. and stuff like that. But, but Fuddy, that clan is uh-huh. so weak. Boozellis, number one? Bronny, uh-huh. 10? Top 10? Let me see what my son is real quick. <laughs> All right. It's like, man, we pretty much hit it out. Uh, um, but yeah, man. But. Yeah, bro. But yeah, this, man. This, yeah. That's we crazy. pretty much hit everything. You know, we hit. You know how we do. We hit everything. Oh no, we got, we got, we got, we got, we got a little, a little, a little argument. When me and you was texting, I think we need to talk about. Uh, when we was talking about. I had DJ as my dark horse to win. Uh, to win the, uh, you know, the what's the name? He didn't win, but I just feel like, you know, I don't, I don't see why, why you making it seem like it wasn't a, like it wasn't, like he didn't deserve it. Uh, cause he did, bro. bro. It's it's he like, did, bro. It, it's like you you ever seen them dudes that run like the sixteen hundred in track, and you got to run like eight laps. Like he fumbled lap seven. Like he fumbled on lap seven. I don't. I don't like. I don't think it it wasn't on DJ. It's not it, DJ's it fault. It's but, Ben Carter. You know if you want. Do do some stuff that's on Ben Cardi. I don't know what that ranking, why, blah, 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 however that go. It I now, now it. I give credit where it's due. If DJ was playing terrible, I'd be like, bro, nah, DJ got he got a drop. You gotta eat that, bro. Actually, been having a good season, like real, real uh, of a flaw. I'm talking about like real deal flawless. Even when when they're losing, even when they play the best of the best, when he played Cam Boozer, he gave them thirty. They lost. Why they lose? Cameron Boozer outplayed Bradshaw. You got to Like some of that stuff. I am a point guard at the end of the day. I it's only so much a point guard can do on on the team. You know what I'm saying? It's only it's only so much that the PG can do. On the team, on the on the star team, as as a star, if I'm giving all my points and I'm giving everything, what else do y'all want me to do? As far as winning, but, but, like but this, but this I only can thing. do so much. I only can do so much. D- DJ been number one player since what? His freshman sophomore year. Well, uh, freshman sophomore. Him. The the fact that you you lost it, you know, seeing oh, it's year, not up to him like, though. It's not up to him, but it's just like the fact that you didn't keep just the optics, the optics of it, buddy. It's like you've been number one your whole high school career. Now you're not number one no more. And then I'm gonna give you player of the year. That sounds crazy. No, it don't. Like just just how just how it look and sound. Yeah, it, it don't sound crazy. Oh, oh okay, buddy. So let, okay, let's do it like this. If you coming off a year where you got five Grammys. You got five mm-hmm. Grammy. You the number. You the hottest artist in the world. And then mm-hmm. the next year, you don't get no Grammys. You still want me to say you the best artist in the world? Like damn, last year you got all the Grammys. You got all the awards. You got what? what. This year you ain't really. You ain't. Got, you kind of went down in everybody's eyes. So it's like you're not gonna get that when you literally go from five Grammys to zero. That's basically what he did. It's like you went for number one player. You got this. You got this. You got that. You got that. Your team was better last year. So it's like everything just kind of went down compared to like if this was junior year, you could say he could have got it last year as a junior. But, but this what this now this why I'm killing it. At. He's playing better than he did last year. That's why I'm not un- I'm not understanding. I'm not trying to hear that junior. Yes, they had better team success. Fuck that. I'm not trying to hear it. He played better as a senior than he did as a junior. Did, didn't they lose in the, the, they they high school championship shit? Didn't they lose? No, they won. It, it was a champion versus champion. Jersey big as hell. They did a champion versus champion. He won his his championship. It was two different sides. They had to play another championship. And he lost, he lost to us to us uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, to, to Simeon Welcher. They had a, bro. They both okay. dropped forty. 
What the fuck? Like, bro, bro D, bro, DJ. Uh, let me. Do you want? Man, let me show you. You want to know his resume? You want to know his 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 high school record? Do you I know, know he his... got all the accolades. No, I know he got the accolades. You do you like, bro? He only lost five. He only lost one game in New to. He only lost one game to in New Jersey. Period. Like to New Jersey. Period. As a state. He only lost to one team in New Jersey, period. I've been in New Jersey this long, and I'm smacking everybody. Only one team beat me? Hey, come on, bro. That's like, it. Come on. Like, I, I feel, some of I feel that. like I feel like he's underappreciated. I really do. I really feel like he's underappreciated. <laughs> bro, resume, bro, resume is crazy. He had, I mean, he's at a local, at a local school. He's beat, bro. He done beat, he done, even when he playing against a uh, comp, he beating people. Just to like, bro, just the fact that he make this local school look mega. You got, you got to give him the same credit, Ron Holly. He got another top five player on his team, bro. Come on, stop acting like, bro. So, so when you, no, 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 let me talk now because we're not finna just make it seem, bro. So every time we watch them, Bradshaw is looking like the best player on the court. Let's be honest here. I'm, I mean, okay. Let's this, be this honest goes. here, Dwight. This year, uh, DJ kind of started playing. What what game was was that we were watching before the Bishop Gorman game? Who for Cam did play before Bishop Gorman on Centennial? ESPN? He's, he's Centennial. On their ass. So 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 uh, Jerry McCain just started out playing him in the second half. He out started out shooting him. They both was going back bro, and forth, bro. They had the same. The same best, who was the bro? They had the same the stats. On the court? They had the, the same who, stats. Who closed out the game? Who closed out the game? Of course, McCain closed out the game. But but listen, you talking about who closed out the game? Who, bro? Their stats were identical. You said, you said a you remember you said Cameron Boozer. You said Cameron Boozer is a big man. He outplayed Bradshaw. Jerry McCain is a guard. He outplayed DJ Wagner okay. down the stretch. All right, all right, so Literally. look. Listen, listen. Let me tell you where where where, where those two don't don't make sense. Cameron Boozer smacked Bradshaw. Bradshaw probably didn't even have like I'm talking about. He as far as a big period, he, he nothing over, all around the board. He did nothing to stop Cameron Boozer. Bro, Wagner went back and forth. There's a difference. And Bradshaw nah. didn't do no back and forth. Then he Say, just man. DJ. I, I know that's your boy, but his last five possessions were bad against his team. Yeah, bro. Right. It, oh, okay. Like it, he, that, happens. He, that happens. But but my thing. My, but listen, my, my I, I'm gonna say this: is, if you take DJ out the game, will it will it would have nah, been that? It would be nasty. It'll okay, be nasty. then that's what that's what I'm saying. He's underappreciated, bro. Like. You okay? I get the five possessions, like that, but that comes with that comes with basketball. Like you can't some of that shit you can't fight. It be like that, like five possessions, this, that, like that. That comes with the sport. That's why I like it. But I'm just saying, like, bro, it's underappreciated, bro. Like people, I'm starting to think. I, I, I think he was the he was the most disrespected number one overall player for a minute. Like in terms of like being the number one player, like he wasn't getting the number one love. Like I, I get what you mean by when you say like when you saying like for us from last year and this year like because the team success and I wouldn't give him player of the year. I'm just saying like for my dark horse, you make it seem like you want close for him to be a dark horse. Like I'm like, I just knew he wasn't gonna get that, it. That would that would have been a that wouldn't have been no shocker for me. Like, bro, this dark horse, but Isaiah Collier you winning it was wild. Like that's now, shit now, now that's him getting it was just that was damn near disrespectful. I would have gave it to DJ over him. I would have gave it to DJ over him. If you're looking at all them, them dudes' resumes, it's just way better than Carl. The way them dudes, like it's just, I would have took all of them dudes who was in that in that little final over over Carl. It just was crazy, and I was just like, bro, DJ would have. That's why I had him as my dark horse. I'm like, all right, they team hasn't been the best as, as you know as they they was last year, but if I can give it, you know, to anybody that wouldn't be a shocker, it would be him. At at, at the, the last, the final guys. He, he was my shocker. I'm like, it would it wouldn't be no shocker if 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 anybody get it, I'd be like, okay, I wouldn't be surprised if they was a throw to DJ. I wouldn't be surprised. But he's actually been like, bro, he's actually been had a better year than his uh his junior year as far as scoring and doing everything else. He actually been a better player this year than last year. So that's what I'm that's mm -hmm. my, my argument. I feel like I don't I don't I don't get I don't I don't get it. 
Last year, last year, like, he's way better. He's way better than he was last year. He, I, I give you that in terms of individually, but then, man, bro, once you've been so good for so long, everything got to come together. If you rank number one three years uh, in a row, bro, what did you say? Who else he had on his team? Yeah, he Aaron Bradshaw. Number, really top five, okay, so if I'm dropping 30 and 40 points a game and mm-hmm. the, the big is still whooping us, who fault is that? I'm that's all I'm saying. Uh, you're, you're not putting that's what I'm saying. You're putting all the weight on DJ, but you're not giving no flack to Bradshaw, and I'm not liking it. This is not uh, all on DJ, bro. You're not giving my boy Bradshaw no flack. You just like Bradshaw or oh, Bradshaw cool just because you see Br- you see Bradshaw ain't on none of these lists. He ain't on we don't talk about him. That's his that's our, that's that's his shade. He don't get talked about. He ain't been doing that. Bro, but, but like really watching Bradshaw, bro. I have it like I have it like he's been making me mad. Like even the bro, even the game against Justin Elwoods, Bradshaw didn't show up. Yeah, DJ Wagnum beat them by himself. And bro, that's the game. Everybody who know who watched class now, I don't know. We picked, uh, we picked uh, Imhotep to beat them, and he beat two guards and the new number one. Give him credit where it's due. If that was anybody that, else, that, that Bradshaw, bro, let Bradshaw would have did that. Niggas would have been oh, niggas been uh, all over the goddamn place. He like, bro, bro, he wasn't supposed to win that game. He beat them by himself. That's why I'm like, bro, he underappreciated. If it, that why I was looking, I was looking at his year. I'm like, I ain't gonna lie. If 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 if, if somebody to win that I that I can just put it like if I see his name up there, I wouldn't be surprised. It was him because I'm like, bro, to play the number one player, they made y'all play each other, and you whooped them, and, and they was the what the, they was the better team. MOT was a better team. They was hot. They got two elite uh, uh, uh elite backcourt and a uh, goddamn uh, the top. Play in the class at uh the wing spot, wing four, uh, four, whatever you want to call Justin Edwards. They got him and then he outplayed them to win. Not not to not to be just like, oh yeah, um, you know, I go off and then we lose. He went off and they won. Well, we didn't I even pick it. Come on, bro. I like, give my man his but, credit, but, bro. But see, I, you know, you know what I compare that DJ, that DJ Wagner, Justin Edwards shit to. What the Embiid and Jokic shit, man? Yeah, Embiid kill Jokic. Jokic is like shit, man. Hey, I'm already, you know, what I'm saying I got the, I got the little jewelry. You know, what I'm saying I got yeah. my trophy. You got something to prove. So sometimes that 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 could play a part in it too. But DJ did his thing, and he did. You know, what I'm saying he he got his get back. But I feel like that's all it was. It was just get back. Yeah, it, it, but like he wanted like at a at a, I don't know like how. Uh, High school players, like regardless, like he wanted the most competitive. Like you see, you yeah. see, play, like he wanted to win that Centennial game. Like he fucked up. That's how. He, that's why he fucked up because he wanted to win so bad. Them position was key, and like like you said, he fucked up. But I, bro, he hey, that comes that comes with the game. That's something he got to learn. Like just to, it's to cool. it, up, you know, it, it, it happens sometimes. But it's like damn, you look, you lost to McCain. I don't like him. So yeah, oh yeah, yeah I get, I get why they, but, but hey, we we can't lie. McCain was cooking. He was cooking. He was McCain hot. McCain was going up. Hey, compared to that nigga Seth Curry, that was funny. Ugh, that's uh, ugh, that's still yield that's hideous. Jeremy that's McCain hideous. is the he got the worst ugh. drive game I've ever oh seen of a top prospect from a guard in oh, high man. school. You can't get to the rim in high school. I don't like. Right. I don't even like McCain dribbling. I don't. Even, I don't even like the way. Yeah. McCain, uh, I don't even like. The way he holds the ball, I don't even like man McCain. I, oh shit, he can shoot, but that that's what's bad. Was how that's bad for him is just just being able to shoot when you that small. It's not gonna look. It's not gonna end well. <laughs> you know he like the weirdest prospect, bro. I need Bill Simmons said Jared McCain better than Bronny. <laughs> but all right. all right, we can end it. We can end. <laughs> we can. We can. <laughs> I was like. We can, I mean, end right. on we can end on that though, right there. We'll see. We'll see. We we we'll I'm see. German like, can't can't dribble, bro. You is right. He can't dribble. Can't can't yeah. tack the basket. Finish around the rim. I ain't never seen him hit a nigga with a move. Yeah, he, just, he, 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 <laughs> I like the way he move off ball and shoot. That's it. There's nothing else I mean, that he does well. Like, he I, he dribble like a wing, figuring it out. Like, 
He be in how like the basic is basic of basic. I don't like McCain either. So I, I get oh. why that that loss was bad, but you know, like like if he if, <laughs> if, if BJ wasn't showing up at all, I'd be like that it would be way worse. But like he no, tried, he tried it, it just there. was finished. He, it was just finished. Like, don't give Jerry McCain this opportunity to say he yeah. did this. And Jerry McCain was talking. Yeah, they it yeah, they both like, was. They, they was talking, they talked. They was talking. And it was just talk. like they it, both it was just I just expected more from DJ and then I still think DJ been a top top three, top four player in high school, but it's just like man, you know, one it just it is what it is. Like, you know, mm-hmm. he's in rare company just to even be in this conversation. So it's like yeah. I don't feel like it's just be I'm not trying to be too disrespectful. He's still a top three, top four player. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, that's it, yeah, that's it, you know, this it, is it just weird. I, I feel like Cameron Boozer to... and Justin Edwards was up here, and everybody else was at least right there. Like it's, they dominated this year. Mm-hmm. Justin Edwards and Cameron Boozer dominated. Yeah, no, they this did. Year, they bro. did though. Like uh, Justin Edwards, you know, you we talked about this how how a good of a job he made from uh, how we felt about him last year to to now. Then Cameron Boozer, we sh- bro, I'm scared to see what he's gonna look like senior year. I don't know what the hell. I don't, I, bro. This dude Cameron Boozer is gonna be so crazy. He could be the biggest prospect since Win Bayama. Like after that Win Bayama hype leave and whatever, whatever, he gonna be the next one that's gonna be like, oh, we're finna tank for Cam Bull. He's a <laughs> sophomore, he was fucking all American. People don't understand. Nigga, that shit ain't that shit bro, rare. He beat he first team. Beat, he was smacking these seniors <laughs> head to head, and he got better. Like from that AZ game when I was like, yeah, I don't know, man. I, Cause I'll never forget. Cause I, was, I damn near wrote him off, and you was like, man, hold on. Yeah, I was like, bro, chill. Hey, AZ, you know, AZ do good at because they got so many guards, so they do good at kind of like they got like a, they real versatile defensively. So if you a big, it's not really much you can really do unless you just like real real life big. And even if you real life big, they still gonna have it where you uncomfortable because they just the way this how they win. Yeah, that's how they I was just gonna say uncomfortable. They made him uncomfortable, and then he got more patient as the year gone went on. And I didn't see mm-hmm. him getting uncomfortable. I was like gonna that. say after that, even even the game where they lost when he lost uh when they lost to Justin Edwards, he was still like like you can tell like it was like okay they they, they was hitting him with some stuff that he couldn't control or he just like tr- was trying to figure out. But that game made him better also. You could tell yeah. by his losses he learned a lot because bro. Bro, but my, my, I really don't know what this 2025 class like, bro. I'm so ready for next year. After this year, I know it's, it's gonna wind down. Next year is gonna be wild. This the last little thing about Cameron Booz. That Sierra Kenyon game, the way he closed that motherfucker out, that was the most impressive thing I've seen all year. Him and Blue Kane got some of the most impressive closes of games. But mm-hmm. bro, Cameron, bro, this nigga got like the the game winning steal and dunk and just. That shit just was impressive. But uh you ready to wrap it up? Yeah, we can. I gotta you see what I'm what I got yeah, I'm, sure. <laughs> I'm trying to wash clothes, dry clothes. But yeah, we can wrap it uh, up that. But man, that'll be all for Class of Down episode 12. I'm Diddy Nose Ball. That's funny delight. Till next time, man. Mm-hmm.